He's the Trivia King with an IQ of 155. He's beaten hundreds of contestants. Leningrad, Steffi Graf, Cuneiform, The Tempest, Fort, Feng Shui, Horophil, New York, Graceland, Pack Your Bags. Are you chicken? No, that was just a warm-up. This season on The Chase, this Oxford-educated math genius... Math is not my strong point. It is mine. ...has already conquered Great Britain. It is insulting. It's what I do. <laughs> now he has his sights set on America. I am to be feared. Can any of these brainiacs win against the beast? Mark LeBette. Over my dead body. PhD masters. You are in so much trouble. Let's bring it on. And tonight, can this former World Bank employee, Woo! this broadcast journalism student, and this Mensa member... I went to Georgetown four times. ...out with the beast. Wow! The beast is wrong! In the ultimate quiz show throwdown. The chase is on! Hello, and welcome to The Chase. Today's team of three total strangers believe they have what it takes to beat one of the world's best quiz brains and possibly take home a ton of cash. Let's meet our team. We have Aaron, Christian, and Molly. Welcome. One by one, they'll answer a series of questions to build up the team's bank. But in order to win that money, they have to beat the beast. Anyone who gets caught is out of the game. But if they avoid getting caught, they go to the final chase with the chance to win a share of the bank. So let's bring out the man they have to beat. He holds a graduate degree in math, in law, and in education. He has an insatiable appetite for two things, trivia questions and chicken wings. <laughs> Unleash the beast! Good evening, Brooke. Tell us a little bit about yourself for our team. I understand you were a teacher for 15 years? Yes, 15 years teaching math and sport of various kinds. And it's fair to say this is my schoolyard. And without doubt, I'm the biggest dog. Oh, all right. And the first to face him, Aaron, it's you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm a proud father of three children, 10, 4, and 2 years old. Nice. I also heard you have a bit of a photographic memory in a certain area. Yeah, I, I can pretty much remember every place I've ever been. I can draw a map uh, of wow. pretty much anything. Very visual. Yeah. If you win the money, what will you do with it? Well, we've actually just bought a church in Maryland. Okay. Uh, which we will actually be renovating as a house. You're going to be living in a church. Well, let's pray that you make a lot of money here. OK. This is our cash builder. We're going to give you 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. For every answer you get right, we're going to add $5,000 to the bank. Are you ready? Yep. Let's put one minute on the clock. Good luck, Aaron. Your time starts. Now, in texting, what does the abbreviation TTYL stand for? Uh, pass. Talk to you later. What TV show features the vampire bar Fangtasia? Pass. True Blood. Gazpacho is a refreshing soup associated with what country? Spain. Correct. In what state does the action in Fifty Shades of Grey primarily take place? Pass. Washington. Tom Hanks received his first Tony nod in 2013 for starring in what play? Pass. Lucky guy. What famous photojournalist was the first to document the American Civil War battlefield? Pass. Matthew Brady. In 2013, what NFL team released Tim Tebow after one season? New York Giants. New York Jets. Who played the Joker in the movie The Dark Knight? Pass. Keith Ledger. What type of vehicle was tested in 1955 using a cat food tin, a coffee tin, and an air blower? It's so Hovercraft. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That's OK. $5,000. Unfortunately, that money isn't safe until you face the beast. Well, you may be familiar with a bit of legal Latin. Res ipsa loquitur. The thing speaks for itself. You got one question right. Listen, just because he has a slow start doesn't mean he's going to have a slow finish. All right, a 
it's time for the chase. In this game, Aaron and the Beast secretly lock in their answers to the same multiple choice questions. Every time Aaron is right, he will move one step closer to banking that money. But every time the Beast is right, he moves one step closer to Aaron. If the Beast catches Aaron before he can safely bank his money, he will lose everything and is out of the game. All right, we're gonna put your $5,000 on the board, starting out three steps ahead of the Beast. That means you'll need five correct answers to bank that money safely. Or, if you feel like playing it safe, you can come one step closer to the bank, and the Beast will offer you... A pitiful thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Needing only four correct answers to put that money in the bank. However, if you feel a little brave, you can take a step back toward the Beast, and he'll offer you... 20 grand. $20,000. But you'll need six correct answers to get your money in the bank. Let's ask your teammates for some advice. Christian. Aaron, I think I want you back here for the final chase. I think you have a lot to make up for, and I think you are a very smart guy. I think you could redeem yourself if you beat the beast. I would play it safe. I would stick with the five. That's not playing it safe against me. <laughs> Molly. You have five and 20 to pick from. I wouldn't go to 1,000. I could stay at five and be happy. We do need you here. All right, you've heard from the team. But the decision is yours. I'm gonna play it very safe and go for a thousand. All right, for a thousand dollars, Aaron, the chase is on. First question. What rock band shares its name with a World War II term for UFOs? Stone Temple Pilots, ZZ Top, or Foo Fighters? He locked in with Foo Fighters. The correct answer is Foo Fighters. All right. $1,000 moves one step down on the board. Beast, what did you say? I didn't know the term went all the way back to World War II, but my answer was Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters as well. All right, the Beast follows. Next question. Of these basketball stars, who has won the most Olympic gold medals? Is it Michael Jordan, Lisa Leslie, or LeBron James? Aaron Put? Michael Jordan. Are you a basketball fan? Not particularly. So it's a bit of a guess? Yeah. Is the correct answer Michael Jordan? It's not. It's Lisa Leslie. $1,000 stays here on the board. Beast, what did you put? Oh, you fell into that trap, didn't you? Uh, My answer was Lisa Leslie. She kept playing. Oh. The Beast moves one step closer. Next question. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, how many pickled peppers could Peter possibly put in a peck? A quarter of a bushel, half a bushel, or three quarters of a bushel? Aaron locked in with a quarter of a bushel. The correct answer is... Yes, a quarter! I come from England, the land of imperial measurements. Of course, I know four pecks equal a bushel. All right. My answer was a quarter of a bushel. Next question. Daniel Boone's rescue of his daughter from the Shawnee inspired an event in which classic American novel? The Last of the Mohicans, The Light in the Forest, or Kidnapped? Aaron locked in with... Last of the Mohicans. It was a guess. I may have taken the bait, but that's the one I felt was most likely it. Is the correct answer the last of the Mohicans? Oh, yeah, it is! Beast, what's your answer? Easy. My answer was the last of the Mohicans. Last of the Mohicans as well. All right. $1,000. One correct answer away from the bank. Next question. 
It is impossible to drive by car to which of these U.S. cities? Nome, Alaska, Augusta, Maine, or Key Largo, Florida? Both taking a bit of time to think about this one. Aaron Put. Nome, Alaska. I believe there was some kind of a problem with diesel delivery or something, and they couldn't get trucks through to Nome. So that's why I went with Nome. All right. For $1,000 to be safely in the bank, to proceed to the final chase, is the correct answer Nome, Alaska? The Beast. Let's go! Please join me. First of all, I have a question. Sure. Are you at all afraid of The Beast? Uh, I'm not afraid of The Beast. You're not? Um, I'm a big fan. I think he's a pussycat. <laughs> beast, what do you think about that? If you think I'm a pussycat, so's a Siberian tiger. Oh, OK. Meow, meow. Christian, if you win the money tonight, what would you do with it? My girlfriend wants a new living room, so that's on the list. I mean, what she doesn't know. I think I want to propose eventually. So. Aww. What's your girlfriend's name? Here's Catherine. All right. This one's for Catherine. Are you ready? Ready spaghetti. Let's do it. Let's put one minute on the clock. Good luck, Christian. Thank you. Your time starts now. Ancient Hawaiians called what activity he'e nalu, or wave sliding? Uh, tidal wave. Surfing. In the book of Genesis, what person's name comes first alphabetically? Adam. Abel. What movie about a stuffed bear is the highest grossing R-rated comp? Correct. What country has a crazy coin called a loony? Uh, Canada. Correct. From 1988 to 1991, David Bowie recorded with what band? Pass. Tin Machine. What motor scooter brand name is Vespa. Italian for wasp? Correct. What vertically ribbed cut pile fabric is used to make durable pants? Uh, canvas. Corduroy. In pro tennis, who's the older of the famous Williams sisters? Venus. Correct. What first female president of Ireland later worked for the UN? Pass. Mary Robinson, who named his signature drink Death in the Afternoon for his novel? Pass. Ernest Hemingway, transgender celebrity Chaz Bono, was born with what Chaz. first name? Correct. In the name of, you know, back in. Woo! All right. <laughs> wow, Kristen, yeah? $25,000. All right. Good for you, but that $25,000, unfortunately, is not safe until you face the beast. Beast, what do you think about that? Well, not the greatest score, but I was really impressed with your speed, and you'd be a danger in the final chase. So for that reason, you've got to go. <laughs> As always, Christian, you're going to start three steps ahead of the beast with your awesome $25,000 on the board. Or if you feel like playing it safe and move one step closer to the bank, the beast will offer you 10 grand. $10,000. Or if you're feeling brave after your cash builder, the beast will offer you. Imagine the wedding Catherine could plan with $60,000. $60,000. It's more money than I've ever seen in my life. A big decision. Let's ask the team what they think. Aaron. Well, I was feeling very fearful, but I don't think it's really that necessary to be fearful. I would now definitely you say feel that. Cool. <laughs> I would definitely feel it's comfortable with twenty-five thousand, but if you wanted to go for sixty thousand, I would also support that. Thank you. Stay at twenty-five if you're comfy, but I think you can do sixty and make up for a lot. All right, you've heard from your teammates. So what do you think? Mm. 
Nobody has ever been successful without taking a risk. I want $60,000 right now. Christian wants for $60,000. For $60,000, Christian, the chase is on! Woo! First question, please. In 2013, the Netherlands had what for the first time in 123 years? A flood, a king, or an April without snow? Both locked in fairly quickly. Christian put. I said a king. A king. Remember reading about this in the news. They have a king. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's a king. All right. Christian says a king. The correct answer is a king. Woo! All right. Sixty thousand dollars comes one Get step down. closer to the bank. Beast, oh. what did you put? I believe his mother abdicated on his 75th birthday. It's King Willem Joseph. So my answer was a king. A king as well. And the beast follows. Next question. The name of the game Scrabble is also a word that means what? Mixture, to scratch frantically, or leftover wood? Christian locked in right away. Took the beast a couple of seconds. Christian put. To scratch to frantically. To scratch frantically. I remember from something in elementary school the sound of a cat's claws scrabbling against the wood floor. To bring the $60,000 one step closer to the bank is the correct answer. To scratch frantically. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> nice work, Christian! We'll find out what the Beast said after we come back. <laughs> Welcome back. Christian is in the middle of the chase. The question was, the name of the game Scrabble is also a word that means what? He said, to scratch frantically. It was correct. So his $60,000 comes one step down. down on the board. Bring it down. Closer to the bank. And the beast put. Well, I knew that the first tiles were made from leftover wood, so my answer was leftover wood. Wow. The beast is wrong. <laughs> yeah. It happens. First time this game. Next question, please. You had sex with the queen and your genitals fell off. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> what are you? A soldier ant, a drone bee, or a praying mantis? <laughs> Christian, locked in with a drone bee. Out of those three insects, that's the only one I can think of immediately that has a queen. Sex with the queen, genitals fall off, you're a drone bee. <laughs> Is the correct answer a drone bee? Yeah! yeah! Nice work! Oh, man! So close to the bank. So, back close. So close. Back close. Beast, what did you put? There's always someone worse off than you, isn't there? <laughs> My answer was a drone bee, too. Next question, please. What beverage was called the devil's drink until it was approved by the Pope? Champagne, coffee, or Coca-Cola? Christian put coffee. Why? It sounds familiar. It sounds like something I would have read somewhere. The correct answer is... Correct answers, and you're going to the final chase, and the $60,000 is in the bank. All right. Beast, what did you put? Should have thought of that a bit more carefully because champagne was created by Dom Perignon, a Benedictine monk. So I went for the oldest one, I pressed champagne. Wow! Yay. All right, the beast stays put. Next question.
question. In a car accident, what gas causes your airbag to inflate? Nitrogen, helium, or oxygen? Christian put, nitrogen. This is going back to high school chemistry. Helium is too light for the chemical reaction to happen in time for the airbag to deploy. And oxygen just doesn't make sense, I don't think, to me. So I, I pick nitrogen. To bring the $60,000 one step closer to the bank, is the correct answer nitrogen? Yes! Yes, <laughs> yes it is. $60,000, one step closer <laughs> on the board. Beast, what did you put? Well, if you think about it, having an airbag full of oxygen wouldn't be good news in a car crash. Think how combustible that would be. It had to be nitrogen, and my answer was nitrogen. And the beast follows. All right, if you get this answer right, the $60,000 is safe, and you'll be moving on to the final chase. Next question. The mother of Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon, had what appropriate maiden name? Star? Moon or Luna? Christian put? Moon. I'm going by context. Appropriate maiden name, walked on the moon, last name might be Moon. Then again, it might be Luna, but it might be Star. I think it's Moon. <laughs> Can we put the $60,000 in the bank? Can we send Christian to the final chase? Is the correct answer Moon? Well played, son. I'm looking forward to the rematch in the final chase. Thank you very much. You're going to the final chase with $60,000 added to the $1,000 that Aaron put in. You'll be joining him. And Molly, you're up next to face the beast after this. to play it safe for $1,000, but made it to the final chase. Christian decided to go big and also will be going to the final chase with $60,000. Grand total of $61,000 in the bank. And Molly, it's your turn to play. Come on down. All right, so tell me a little bit about yourself. You have an amazing education. Yeah, I went to Georgetown four times for paralegal studies, foreign languages, computers, IT, and my MBA in international business. My and goodness. And Catholic University for international law. Wow. <laughs> Guys, that is impressive. But you're used to being the smartest person in the room. So we've got something in common there. Oh. <laughs> Let's jump in. This is your chance to add some money to the bank. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck. Let's put one minute on the clock. Molly? Your time begins now. A twin-tailed mermaid is the logo of what Seattle-based company? Uh, pass. Starbucks. What's the main vegetable ingredient in baba ganoush? A uh, piece. Eggplant. What team of traveling techies is affiliated with Best Buy? Uh, Geek Squad. Correct. Jodhpurs are tight pants originally designed for what activity? Uh, Highline. Horseback riding. <laughs> Members of what 80s band originally dyed their hair blonde for a chewing gum ad? Pass. The police. What's the first name of President Obama's oldest daughter? Sasha. Malia. What purple stone was believed to be protection against drunkenness? Uh, pass. Amethyst. In 1973, Bob Woodard and Carl Bernstein earned a Pulitzer Prize for what newspaper? It's Chicago, Chicago Tribune. The Washington Post. Uh, By what name is the Rio Grande known in Mexico? Uh, El Rio Grande. Rio Bravo. Who gave the famous Never Give In speech in 1941? Um, Roosevelt. Churchill, according to this. Oh. <laughs> the speed round often gets people. Aaron had a little trouble as well. $5,000 not safe yet because we have to take it to the beast. <laughs> 
one question right. You didn't even get Winston Churchill right. And you're specialising <laughs> in international law. Actually, I thought of you and you kind of threw me off. I wasn't thinking. Well, I'm now going to test your character. Oh. Are you going to put in your fair share like Christian did? Or are you going to be a sponge like Aaron? <laughs> All right, you know how this works. You're going to start three steps ahead of the beast. Your $5,000 goes on the board. Or you can play it safe and the beast will offer you Two grand. Two grand. However, if you feel like gambling a little bit, you can take a step back toward the beast and he'll offer you. Let's see what you're really made of. $29,000. $29,000, which means if you win it, add it to the 61, $90,000. Each one of you would take home 30 grand. Big decision. Let's ask your teammates what they think. Aaron. I have a lot of confidence in you. I think you can take them. I think you should go for the 29,000. <laughs> Molly, I think you're a very intelligent woman, and I think maybe you were a bit intimidated by the cash builder, but I think 29,000 is more than within your reach, and I completely support you going for it. All right. Ultimately, the decision is yours. Do you know what you want to do? I'm going to do what I don't want to do. I'll go for 2,000. She's going to go for the $2,000, the safest bet, because she wants to go to the final chase with her teammates. That's a great decision. It'll be much harder for him to take on three of you. So for $2,000, Molly, the chase is on. First question. How many months have 31 days? Seven, eight, or nine? Molly locked in with seven. I could be off by one or two. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That wouldn't be good. The correct answer is seven. Oh, really? Beast, what did you put? There are four months with 30 days, April, June, September, November, and February's got 28 or 29. So that leaves seven left over with 31. All I right. answered seven. Next question. While traveling on the German Autobahn, you pass an Auschwitz. <laughs> oh my God. What should your companion say? You missed the motel, you passed the gas station, that was the exit. <laughs> Molly locked in with... That was the exit. The correct answer is... That was the exit! <laughs> Beast, what did you say? My answer was that was the exit. And the Beast comes one step down on the board. Next question. What observance commemorates the day slavery ended in the United States? Bloomsday, Juneteenth, or Freedom Day? Molly locked in first with Juneteenth. You know this one. I think I might have shamed a lot of people if I didn't. <laughs> Is the correct answer Juneteenth? One step closer to the bank. Beast, what did you put? Well, I know Bloomsday's to do with James Joyce. I didn't have a clue, so I went with the obvious but wrong answer. I press Freedom Day. Ah, obviously wrong. All right. If you get this question correct, the $2,000 is in the bank. You'll be joining your teammates in the final chase. Next question, please. In 1918, what disease killed more people than any other outbreak in history. Influenza, cholera, or typhoid. Molly locked in with influenza. Is the correct answer influenza?
congratulations to Aaron, Christian, and Molly. All three of them made it to the final chase yeah. with $63,000 in the bank. All right, here's how it works. You'll have two minutes to answer as many questions as you can. With three of you all going to the final chase, you'll have a real advantage over the beast with your collective knowledge and teamwork. Then the beast will get two minutes to try to catch you by answering a different set of questions. If he does, your team will leave with nothing. But if you beat him, each of you will split the $63,000. You'll each be taking home 21 grand a piece. Since there are three of you who made it to the final chase, we're gonna give you a three-step head start. For $63,000, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. The final chase is on. <laughs> Let's put two minutes on the clock. Nice work getting here, guys. Good luck. Your time begins now. The word pulmonary refers to what Christian, organ? Christian, heart. Lungs. In the play Romeo and Juliet, what's Juliet's maiden Christian, name? Christian, Capulet. Correct. Who wrote the 1998 bestseller, Who Moved My Cheese? Molly. Pass. Spencer Johnson. What 15th century artist sketched a flying machine called the Christian Da Vinci. Correct. What future TV star was the lead singer for Gnarls Barkley? Christian. CeeLo Green. Correct. Who designed the Vietnam Veterans Memorial? Molly. Pass. Maya Lin. Ray Manzarek was the keyboardist and co-founder of what famous 60s rock band? Christian. Pass. The Doors. What ancient Greek famously said, I only know that I know nothing? Christian. Pass. Socrates. On what cathedral did Martin Luther nail his 95 theses? Christian. Pass. Wittenberg. What's the proper golf term for scoring one over par on a hole? Christian. Eagle. Bogey. One side of a straight line forms an angle that measures how many degrees? Christian. 180. Correct. What jazz pianist's 1967 album was Straight No Chaser? Christian. Miles Davis. Thelonious Monk. What San Francisco bread is made from using a starter Aaron. that can be... Sourdough. Correct. George H.W. Bush famously mocked the economic policies of Ronald Reagan by calling them what? Christian. Reaganomics. Voodoo economics. What month of heat was the 11th month of the French Revolutionary calendar? Molly. Path. Thermidor. What Steve Carell film had the tagline, the longer you wait, the harder it gets? Christian. 40 year virgin. Correct. On what TV show were characters proud members of the loyal order of water buffalo? Christian. Flintstone. Correct. What's the most abundant element in the Earth's Christian. crust? Christian. Nitrogen. Oxygen. Who owns the crypt next to Marilyn Monroe? Christian. JFK. You have nerve. <laughs> Oh. That's all right. All right, guys, you're up 10 steps. We're about to see if you're going home with $63,000 or with nothing. Beast, do you have a prediction? Well played, Christian. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's all about the pushbacks. If I make mistakes and they keep knocking me back, that could get very difficult, but it shouldn't do. It's all up to the beast after this. <laughs> Welcome back to the final chase. Our team is 10 steps ahead. Now it's the beast's turn to answer. If he catches them, they'll lose it all. But to make things interesting, anytime the beast misses a question and the team can answer it correctly, they'll push the beast back one step. That could be the difference between winning and losing $63,000. Let's see if that 10-step lead can hold up. The final chase is on. Beast, are you ready? Yes. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. During his Oscar acceptance speech, what director exclaimed, I'm the king of the world? Martin Scorsese. Stop the clock. That is wrong. 
Normally, we would push the beast back one step. However, in this situation, since it's the first question, if you can answer correctly, we will add a step to your lead, taking you from 10 to 11. James Cameron, you're calling me. OK. James Cameron. James Cameron. The correct answer is James Cameron. All right. All right. That takes you from 10 to an 11 step lead. A minute, 54 seconds on the clock. Your time begins again now. A floor and ceiling shag carpeted jungle room is found in what Memphis landmark? Graceland. Correct. Albert Einstein was offered the presidency of what country? Israel. Correct. With partner Jack Kirby, who co created the superhero The Hulk? Stanley. Correct. Who inspired the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott by refusing to surrender Rosa her? Rosa Parks. Correct. The medical symbol of a winged staff entwined with two serpents is called what? The Staff of Mercury. Correct. How many prongs are on a typical oyster fork? Two. Stop the clock. That is wrong. This is your opportunity to push the beast back if you can answer this question correctly. I think it's, I think it's three. I think it's three, too. Yeah. I think three? It's trident. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our answer is three. Three. The correct answer is three. Yeah. Let's push the beast back one step. Good job. One minute, 21 seconds on the clock. Your time begins again now. The hot air balloon was first successfully flown by what French brothers? Montgolfier. Correct. What curved abstract textile pattern is named for a town in Scotland? Paisley. Correct. What coffee term is Italian for milk? Latte. Correct. Faced with an infidelity scandal, what CIA director resigned in 2012? Atreus. Correct. Who wrote the semi-autobiographical play After the Fall? Pass. Stop the clock. He passed. Team, you have a chance to push him back one step. Like, I have... Think of some famous guy like Arthur Miller or something like that. After the fall, it's a play. Oh, Arthur Miller, oh, is that what I want to say? I don't know. I have no clue. What a guess. Arthur Miller? Anybody? Arthur Miller? OK. Uh, our answer is Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller. The correct answer is... Arthur Whoa! Miller. <laughs> and the beast goes back one step. 56 seconds on the clock. Your time begins again now. What jewelry store trademarked its turquoise blue boxes? Fabergé. Stop the clock. That is wrong. I think it's Tiffany. <laughs> is that what you think it is? Yeah. OK. Our answer is Tiffany. Your answer is Tiffany. The correct answer is Tiffany and company. And you push the beast back. With five to catch and 52 seconds on the clock, your time begins again. Now, what actor was offered the role of Indiana Jones but couldn't get out of his TV contract? Um, Tom Selleck. Correct. The opera William Tell was composed by whom? Rossini. Correct. Saying he was born again in Jamaica, Snoop Dogg now records under what name? Snoop Lion. Correct. In a season of tennis tournaments, which Grand Slam is the last? American. U.S. Correct. In the campaign slogan, Tippy Canoe and Tyler Two, who was Tippy Canoe? Um, William Henry Harrison. Correct. <laughs> and that's it. 18 seconds remaining. I'm so sorry, guys. You've been devoured by the beast, and the chase is over. $63,000 wiped right off the board. I'm sorry, guys. That was a tremendous performance, especially by you, Christian. You absolutely walloped me in the individual chase, and I'll happily admit that. Thank you very much. Props from the Beast. Thanks so much for watching The Chase. We'll see you next time. Absolutely incredible experience. I feel exhausted. My brain has completely worked out. When the Beast missed that first question, I thought, wow, we could get this. But he beat us fair and square, and you have to respect the beast for that.